Stan has had a few images uh, to this uh, to this brochure. So um, here's my text that I've already added. Let me sort of zoom out. I'm just going to go now to the front cover. Now, what I want to do is add my logo uh, on this front cover. So uh, on the left-hand side, you've got this place image tool. So if you click on that, you can then browse through your folders and find the image that you want. In this case, I'm going to choose this logo. Click open. Now with the place image tool, uh, you can just click to place it at native resolution or alternatively you can just sort of drag it out to place the image at the size um, that you want. As you can see, because I've got snapping on here, I've also got these smart guides, so it sort of tells me pretty um, uh, correctly where, where the precise center of that page is. So that's kind of one way to place images, that you just go to place image and sort of drag it onto your page. But the other thing that I think we need to look at are, are picture frames. Um, so let me go to my second spread here. Um, on the left-hand side, just under the Place Image tool, there's a picture frame tool. Um, so with this, I can actually drag a picture frame onto my, uh, on, onto my document. And then when that picture frame is there, I can then place an image inside the picture frame. So again, I'm going to go to my Place Image tool, and I'm going to choose the image that I want for inside this, uh, this picture frame, which I'll choose that one. And then that image now gets placed inside the picture frame. Now picture frames work really well because um, by default at least, um, when you kind of now drag and move that picture frame around, uh, you can see it's not stretching or distorting the image, it's kind of uh, sensibly uh, trying to make the best fit. Uh, for that image within that picture frame. So it makes it a lot better when you're kind of resizing and moving stuff around. Um, but just to show you, at the top here on the context toolbar, when you've got a picture frame selected, um, you've got various options, but one of the options are properties. Um, and here, in fact, you can change the way that a picture frame behaves. So at the moment, as I said, it's sort of defaulted to scale to max fit, but I could choose scale to min fit or stretch to fit. Uh, etc. if I want. But I'm going to leave it on scale to max fit there and I'll bring that uh, image to where it needs to be. Um, so now I'm going to go on to my next uh, spread here and I'm going to actually add a few more picture frames. I'm going to add them sort of like that. I'm just going to use alt copy here to create another copy of that and then uh, uh, a further copy there, so now I've actually got three picture frames in this case. So the other thing to point out is that if I go to place image now uh, for these picture frames, you can place multiple images at the same time. So I'm going to select the images that I want just by holding shift to, uh, to multi-select. So I'm going to choose these three images here. And now when I press open, you can see that I get this kind of place image panel appearing and I can sort of select the image that I want to place here. Um, and then in fact, when I hover over, I get a live preview of what that looks like in my picture frame. So I want that in that picture frame, my second image in that picture frame, and my third image um, in that picture frame. So you can very easily um, add multiple images uh, at the same time. 